it is. Curious travel here. Oh, um, interesting question. Throw out there. I don't know how well you guys are familiar with except the transit stops. Thirteen. Four. But interesting. Ten, fifth and Market 13, Street. 34, and 36. The 5th and Market Street stops on Market Street at 5th Street. Either side are served by bus routes 17, 33, and the Market Street for our nightly shuttles. Now, for the past year to change, they've been alternating construction work on either side of the road at the corners. Sidewalk work, they replaced the bus shelter on the westbound side. They were doing sidewalk work, they were doing, they were doing some ADA work at one point, and now they're also doing the underground part for a fish rebuilding the train station for the like Frankfurt, the actual train station to redo it. So they're, because they're doing it, they had to open up part of the street upstairs, which means they had barriers set up at the corner. Westbound side, the shelter is blocked off because it's not finished. Westbound side, the shelter around. The cross over there, that's the northeast corner. The northwest corner is a barrier to, to make people swing, to make people move, stay out from the, the curb and swing back in because there's also no construction. Eastbound side of the street, the southeast corner is blocked off because of the construction work underneath. The same as the southwest corner. The southwest corner, you can't use the sidewalk at all. And you have to actually walk into, you have to walk into Independence National Park. Go around to get to the book. The problem I have with this is that on the westbound side, the transit stop is completely discontinued, which is fine. Problem with the transit stop being completely discontinued because it makes sense to do doing work. But on the eastbound side, that's the westbound side. On the eastbound side, only the 17 and 33 had to stop discontinued. Market Frank for now is still allowed to stop it. Why? There's an orange jersey barrier. There's orange jersey barriers from mid block on Market Street between 5th and 6th all the way to the corner. Fifth and Market. So from Fifth and Market all the way back to the mid block between Fifth and Sixth, there's orange jersey bars. And there's one little cutout to get to the street in the Jersey Bears. Why is that acceptable as a bus stop? If a wheelchair were to get on there, it would be very difficult to load a wheelchair because you have to line it up the ramp exactly up with that cutout the jersey barriers and there's no there's no drop off on the sidewalk so it would not be easy for a wheelchair to get off the sidewalk to get to that not to mention after you if you get off the bus at the back door the center door you're being put at risk because you're out in traffic because the jersey barriers shift the lane out into the market street itself Curve, there's no barrier, there's no divider or anything. So if you get off at the same doors, you're in traffic. If the bus pulls off before you get to the sidewalk at mid block or get down to that cutout close to the corner, now you're at the mercy of traffic behind the bus, which may not even know you're there because you're walking in the traffic. Somebody explain to me how this is safe because I don't get it. Now they mention if you lose your balance and fall because you're squeezing between the bus and the jersey barriers. You're walking between the barriers and the bus. So if you lose your balance and fall, you put yourself at you're at risk of being hit by the bus. Whether it be just a brush or getting run over by the tires completely and risking some severe or fatal injuries. I don't see how this is logical to be a safe stop. The options I had were to either make the stop at 6th Street, a temporary stop, so that the drivers can at least have heard.
to drop people off at, as well as load a wheelchair if need be, or if you want to still keep somewhat of the distance intact, stop mid block. Like right where the Jersey barriers begin at in the mid block section between 5th and 6th. Have the buses pull over there and drop on and off. Now, while it may be a little difficult to merge with traffic in and out of there, it's it's still safer than dropping people off in the middle of the street. The only downside to the mid block is that there are bollards on the sidewalk. So, with the bollards there, it may be difficult lining a door up to where you're not walking into a bollard. However, it's still safer than being in the middle of the road in you know, the traffic lane. That's why I said 6th Street, because it's, it's obstruction free. And it's a level surface for someone to get on and off the bus. And you can curb the bus and still get into traffic easily. You know, some, somebody accepted, obviously didn't think this through, or didn't, didn't go out there to look at the stop. Because you know there's construction going on. You have to. So for y'all not to so for y'all not to acknowledge that this is a safety hazard is a very severe problem that needs to be looked into. So I'm gonna post this video online. Hopefully it gets to the right channels and they address the situation before somebody gets really hurt and a lawsuit pops up. But I don't want to see something get sued over this when it could be easily prevented and remedied. But at the same token, they're not doing anything to try and solve this situation either. And having buses drop off in the middle of the road is not acceptable in any total. Construction or not, dropping somebody off in the middle of the street is not the case. Especially when drivers are taught, to my knowledge, that you should curb the bus when you drop people off. So, let me know what you guys think. I'll get back to it. It's fair I put that out there, voice my opinion. Until the next time, this is Transit Traveler saying peace and love. I'm out.